Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready for another deep dive. Today we're going to be looking at this idea of creator mode. You know, like not just letting life happen, but really taking control and, and shaping your own reality. It's, uh, it's pretty fascinating stuff, actually. We've got this guide that really breaks it all down and I think it's going to be super interesting. So uh, ever feel like you're, it's kind of long for the ride. What if you could like grab the wheel, you know? Become the architect of your own destiny. That's kind of the whole premise behind this creator mode thing. Pretty powerful stuff, huh? So one of the first things this guide jumps into is breaking free from limitations, which, I mean, we all talk about, you know, like getting rid of those limiting beliefs and all that. But uh, this guide had this really cool example. Have you ever seen those bonsai trees, those tiny little trees that are like pruned and shaped to stay small? Well, the thing is, if you took that same bonsai tree and planted it in the ground, gave it space to grow, it could become this massive sprawling tree. And that's kind of what we're talking about here, right? Breaking free from the uh, the pot of our limiting beliefs. And really allowing ourselves to, to grow into our full potential. Makes you think, right? Okay, so next up, the guide talks about trusting the universe. And I know, I know, this can be a tough one for some people. But the way the guide explains it, it's not about blindly accepting everything that happens, good or bad. It's more about understanding that even when things seem rough, the universe is ultimately supporting our growth. It's like, um, think about learning to ride a bike. You're going to fall. You're going to scrape your knees. But those falls, they're part of the process. The universe isn't out to get us. It's giving us the experiences we need to evolve and, and become stronger. So now this is where things get really interesting. The guide talks about co-creation. Like this idea of connecting with the universe and working with it, not against it. They actually use this analogy of a dance which I thought was perfect because when you're dancing with a partner, you're both contributing, right? You're in sync. There's a flow to it. And that's what co-creation with the universe is like. It's about being in tune with the, uh, the flow of energy, listening to those little intuitive nudges we get and, um, and recognizing those synchronicities, you know, those meaningful coincidences that just pop up in our lives. Okay. So finally the guide gets into manifestation, which is like the culmination of all these other principles. It starts with getting clear about what you really want. Then feeling the emotions of already having that thing and then taking inspired action. It's like, uh, let's say you want to start a garden. First, you got to picture that garden in your mind, right? Imagine how beautiful it is, all those flowers blooming. You can practically smell them, feel the sun on your skin. Then you actually go out and buy the seeds. You plant them, you water them. You take those actions that align with your vision. It's not about just wishing and hoping. It's about uh, actively partnering with the universe to make those desires a reality. So what does all this mean for you? Well, creator mode is about taking control. It's about becoming the conscious creator of your own life experience. Now that you've had a glimpse of what creator mode is all about, what reality are you ready to create? Think about that, and we'll see you next time for another deep dive.